What you are about to witness will contain violence, disturbing imagery, adult themes, and may leave you doubting who you thought you were. Proceed at your own risk. So, I noticed that Titus had removed all of its blood. Um, I want to see if it's possible for me to desiccate it from within. So, uh, I guess just force as much of uh, the hot desiccation air inside of its body to dry all the place where the blood was. Okay. And how are you doing that? Alchemy, right? Yes. All right, go yeah. for it. 19. What does that look like? Um, <clears throat> so I just, uh, almost the way that I exposed Titus's wounds to air, I just sort of permeate this creature's flesh with air. There's natural channels already, um, and I just overflow it from within, and the bits of it that couldn't withstand being exposed to air, just so much of it at such a high degree, I think it just starts to wither from within and sort of like, it looks almost like it's aging, becoming skeletal and yeah. It drying is, out. It is drying out, but not dead. Oh, who's up? That would be me. I'm going to attempt to hit it with unseen hand and uppercut from within Eru's bubble. Okay. Not to free it, but just to damage it from within. What happens? I think you see the homunculus trying to escape from this gravity bubble that Error has placed it in, and it kind of looks almost like a jaw-shattering punch just kind of nails him right in the kisser, so. Fuck yes. Still not down, however. Who's up? Oh, I think the... I think me. I think it's my turn. Yes. And I think it is focus still on you, Titus. Go ahead and roll. Dodge. I think Raz also was nearby, right? You put yourself yeah. right in the way. Yeah. Yes. So you'll need to roll. It'll do its two attacks and it'll do one for each of you. When I slowed it, I yes. feel like I did something to it. It did not get a turn this round. Did we do that already? I'm relying on your memory. 
I think it would have been this round, right? We wouldn't have had a turn yet because I'm second, yeah, so. Yeah. So, yeah, okay. Then it doesn't do anything, but it does start to slowly move as if it's going to, but we just see it moving slowly. But I think with the slow, I like to give you an idea of what its next attack will be. So it's going to go ahead and do two physical attacks and maybe a, a bite after if it gets one of you. I was holding my turn to see if anything needed to be bolstered or defended against. Because I didn't do anything this turn, mm-hmm. has that action now been fizzled, or do I get a shift nope, in the next now, round? Or Whatever you like, actually. I think either a shift in the next round if you're willing to forfeit an entire turn, or you can go now. Um, okay. I think because of my positioning... I think that what I'll do is perhaps wait. Okay. And hopefully I'll be blessed with a shift or something going forward. Okay. Yeah, we'll do 10 shift for forfeiting your turn. Ah, no, you can have 20. I feel like that's a big deal, forfeiting your whole turn. Okay. Okay. Who's up? Uh, if we are on the top of the round, then it is me now. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I suppose what holding my turn would look like, I believe at the beginning of this fight, I was on one knee sword in the ground behind a log, um, watching the battle occur in front of me. I tried once to, um, to do something, I forget exactly what, and it failed, and then here I am now holding this turn, uh, to the best of my ability. I think you would see almost as if, like, the leaves of the forest kind of swirling around me in a way as uh, what could I only imagine would be like a magical potential kind of just uh, building up around me. And uh, I am simply still just holding my turn, waiting and watching to see what uh, transpires, to see if anything needs to be adjusted or fixed or helped. I've had and a thought. That's, it might yes. be broken, but I kind of like the idea of holding your turn and being able to up that shift every single time. I see. This makes sense to me, right? Does it make sense sure. to you? Right? Like, so if you uh, manage to make it through this whole round without using a turn, then you'll get another 20 shift. It's a gambit for sure because we don't know what's yeah, going to happen. Exactly. This round. And then at some point you have to use it. And it's possible you'll go through the whole fight and not use it at all, which would suck balls. Right. But yeah. Yes. I like sure. this. We're doing it. It is now a thing that you can all do, by the way. Anybody who's doing reactionary stuff or if you choose to hold your action, you can. You can go ahead and build up DBZ style. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> okay, Piccolo. Um, so that's my turn. Erafia is next. I, th- I feel like Vivi can do something like that in Final Fantasy IX, like by, and it doubles the, the damage. damage of the magic or something like that. Maybe I might be wrong. Um, uh, hmm. Can I simply, I mean, my cast of this spell was um, a failure to me. So I would like to cast the spell successfully. I'm gonna basically recast the spell. Nothing would really probably change, but I'm just gonna try and crush the thing with gravity slash dread magic so it's essentially me just kind of trying to it's not really recasting the spell but I try and push more dread magic into it to crush the creature with to its crush own. yes okay demi right yeah I'm doing super demi alright go for it please get a 21 ten, just for my have... own madness what? Do, I have, I don't, do I have a 10 shift on this stuff or just yes. navigational things? No, anything dealing with the wood. Anything with the woods. <gasps> 44, but it is a doubles. What the fuck? Not a 21. I know, but like, ugh, you guys have just been Sorry. kicking ass right out of the gate here. It's freaking me out a little bit. Okay, what happens? Uh, that also means, though, so the way, just to recap for those watching and uh, those playing, if you don't remember, the way that the damage works is you want to gamble. You want to get as close to partial success as possible because the higher the number, the more damage you do, but you still want to succeed. So what has happened here is you've done 44, but then we're going to double it because you got doubles. 
so it's very very good all right and anyway what happens what do we see this does Eryfier a lot of damage also gets a pip on their dial as well yes don't forget i do yep i don't have any pips and i wasn't here for when everybody learned how to play the game so hey it's just like the counterclockwise real... yep the success anytime you get a double you mark a pip on that wheel and then when it's get gets full let me know cool buddy I'll do that. Sure, um, buddy. Uh, yeah, I think like there's a huge kind of like dark wall around this thing that I'm. Uh, I probably spent the entire time since casting it the first time, pushing the thing closer and closer and closer, and you see the ball. Um, what happens for a brief moment is probably like a time dilation situation because we're messing with gravity. Um, the thing in the ball kind of distorts how it looks as I crush and I for a second I almost close my hands and then let go of it again but in the second where I close my hands it does a lot of sort of gravitational damage to the creature and as my hands widen again the creature is smaller it just looks smaller it's, it, it, in, in I don't know what it's made of or whatever but it's been shrunken you've reduced uh, its size yeah I like this. Okay. Um, you also do a uh, very significant amount of damage to it. And so I think we... I think we hear first, probably, before we see. But we'll hear the bones cracking. Uh, if it has bones. Which I think they've grown pretty solid. So you do hear this kind of, like, tree branch crack. It's very loud. Uh, and then it registers that it has been wounded. It takes a moment because it's slowed for it to realize it's even been damaged. Uh, but now he's looking pretty out of breath. Hmm. To give you guys an idea of his health. Who's up? Strong. Yeah. Uh, it would be me. So, uh, last, last turn, I created uh, two illusion clones of Astraea, um, which are surrounding the homunculus right now. So in this turn, I'm just going to, I'm going to sit and gather power and to transfer to Astraea to use in an attack right now. Perfect. So I just yes. stand and let it happen. Amazing. Who's up? All right, um, so I am going to start bolting towards this homunculus and the clone versions of myself are going to also do the same thing. Okay. Only one of them is going to go ahead and cross her swords and throw me up into the air so that I can get an aerial attack off on this thing. Okay. I'm going straight for its head. Will she get a shift as well? Because I am... Yes. Give you my power. Okay. Ten shift. Yes. Now, just to be clear, Vega, you're powering up this round to boost her attack this round, or are you doing what Lear is doing and powering up for a future attack? Uh, this round. Okay, perfect. Then, yeah, you can have your 10 ship now. What the 52 fuck? success. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> that is a prime example of getting just underneath the success limit. That is a lot of fucking damage, dude. Okay, what happens? Um, well, I'm coming in from the air and the other clones of myself come in and they attack from all sides, basically, minus the back, uh, since they had to throw me up up front. Um, and all at once, the four of us just unleash on this thing. There's uh, whatever this version of Viscera would be all over the fucking place. It's a, probably uh. a lot of, um, it's a lot of blood. It's probably a lot of weird liquefied skin. Um, there's white bile that you would also see uh, that gets thrown everywhere. Um, but you take something from this creature. What is it? I take something. Mm-hmm. Is this a physical or a mental or emotional thing? I was going to say physical, but I like where your brain is going. Do you have any thoughts? A memory. Okay. From, okay, Titus, mm -hmm. you're gonna have to supply a memory from inside 
torture chamber. I think she sees what was happening to Titus all along. That he was being feasted on. Originally, he told him that he was being experimented, but until the last fight, we didn't really know that they were feasting on him similar to vampires or leeches. So I think that vivid imagery of his body sprung up and the hooded figures devouring his arms is what she sees. And in this memory, there are no faces or anything like that. Roll for me, actually. Because this isn't Titus. This is the homunculus. Mm -hmm. They weren't careful around the homunculus. Okay. Would this be something magical, or would I be able to roll my observation? Divination, Divination. I think, yeah. And is there any shift on this or no? No, I don't think so. Just random chance. Oh, wow. Okay. 66 failure. So I think you do actually see a face for just a fraction of a second, Estrella, but then it begins to distort. Its mouth shifts up where its nose should be. Uh, Its eyes start to bleed, and then the whole face kind of scrunches together into the shape of a wolf or some other horrific canine, and it bares its teeth at you, and it's horrifically frightening, and then you don't remember what the face was originally. It's almost like it saw you looking through this memory. I think that's the feeling that you get from it. I think that would kind of throw me off, and I'm going to make sure at the end of my turn that I kick off of it so that I land a little bit further away. Okay. And does that count towards the wheel as well, the 66? Yes, yep. I was having you do counter and um, clockwise so that I could keep track of how frequently you guys were rolling fails, and but it doesn't matter at this point. Basically, when you feel, fill up the wheel, you get to add a, a one point into anything that you like for a level up. Whereas when you roll a critical one or a failure, you're adding a point immediately to the one that you were using. All right. All right, go ahead. Whew. Holy. I... I watch all of this happen, but I don't think I'm seeing all of this happen. I think in this, my action of trying to command control of the old words and then being cut off from other sources of magic that I've granted not been great with, but have grown up surrounded and connected with. I think I'm hearing or feeling the arcane equivalent of just a ringing, just ringing the ears, because all of a sudden this thing that I was constantly connected with and surrounded by, yeah, it's very loud, is gone. It's almost like you can hear these weird, distorted birds, but dialed up to ten volume for you, and they kind of yeah. echo and ring a little bit more, and they might even if you leave the wood. And honestly, I think I'm going to forfeit my turn as I disoriented stagger backwards trying to catch my footing and concentrate on the here and now what emotion are you feeling right now i think (laughs) somewhere between panic and surprise i feel like they're both emotions that are fairly similar and it's hard hard for me to tell which is which at the moment but Something that I didn't know was possible or expected to happen happened in the possibly worst time for it to happen. So we see you take a step back, and I think we also see the trees, which were already really skinny and long and tall. It feels like they grow taller and expand outward. It's almost like you're standing still and the whole forest is stepping away from all of you. The homunculus is still in front of you, however, airing its teeth, wounded, bleeding, and angry. Who's next? Me. Um... (laughs) 
I draw my sword, actually. And I walk towards it. Slowly. Um, and I position myself on its side. And I raise my sword. And I drop it to behead it. Okay. Go ahead and roll. Partial success. What do you think happens? I think I was hoping that a physical, just a simple physical attack would kind of take it out. But I think that there's something inside holding it together. It feels stronger than bone. Um, and I don't think I'm able, I think maybe I, you know, knife it deeply, uh, but I think I hit something almost. And do you think it gets stuck? Yeah. I think, I think so it too. does. Okay, so we see Jude raise her blade up and go in to decapitate this homunculus, which looks more like Titus than any have before. And it gets stuck. And she's now either left with the option of letting go and backing up, or she's going to stay with her blade. But she is right next to it. Titus, you're up. I'm going to try to ground the homunculus by focusing all of my kinetic energy onto its feet. And then as I do so, I try to make eye contact with Eru and just nod. I know what he's doing. I nod back. You see me begin to relinquish control of the gravity, actually, as soon as I see him doing this. Okay. What happens? I think seeing Jude not pull off the full decapitation worries me. Now that we have this bond between us and it throws off my focus a little bit the fact that she's so close to this thing is it weird to see someone try to decapitate something that looks so much like you very much so it's haunting is there any part of you that worries that that's you like that you feel that because you've been through this weird torturous, is this even real? Am I even out? Is part of you wondering if this is just all part of that same experiment? Or are you more convinced that these are your friends and that this is real? I think it's sort of like blind optimism. I see. Okay. It's always in the back of my mind that mm. this could be fake, but at least I'm not back there for now. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and roll me a will save, whatever the equivalent would be. So you have probably something in mind or magic that will help you defend against looking this creature in the eyes. I'm guessing not divination, correct narrator? I mean, you could use divination if you'd like. I will allow it. The result will just be different if you succeed. We'll go with divination then. You know what you know what divination is to Titus? What is divination to Titus? How about that? Divination to him is kind of a tool. Trying to predict what will happen for the benefit of himself and the company he surrounds himself with. Is it truth to Titus? Like, is not what anymore. you divine... Okay. Why is it not anymore? Well, the whole reason I'm in this mess is because of what I saw. But was the decision to... what you saw not real? You did end up doing it. True. I think learning about all these other realms has me questioning reality in general. Okay. You know, 
So how can we know if what I see in the beyond is us, another realm, other magic people augmenting it? Nothing really makes sense about it anymore. Okay. Thank you. That is it. You have a minus 10 shift on your next attack because you failed with this uh, creature trying to get into your head. Who's up? The homunculus. Oh, but the homunculus was slowed because Eru did another gravity attack on it this round and succeeded with doubles, so it loses a turn. In which case, I gain another shift. Yes. And move on to my turn, and uh, it's more of the same. The, uh, I believe they're like concentric circles now of, uh, I guess, magical pressure around me. You can see uh, leaves going around me uh, clockwise, then a layer out counterclockwise. Um, there's almost like heat distortion around me, I want to say, in a bit of a dome as I'm focusing on the battle at hand. I think at this point my eyes are kind of like shifting. I haven't blinked since I started this and I'm just focusing on the battle at hand. Are you going to try to do it for another round? I, I am dedicating what I'm doing right now to reacting, so yes, I'm not going to falter now. Okay. Eru, you're up. Um, I see Titus stall, stumble, fail at what he was planning, but I've already let go of the spell. Um, I pull my staff, which was on my back up to this point, out and begin to I, I'm not close to this thing right no you weren't this thing is okay the only one close to it right now are Jude and uh, Raz Titus was originally but then uh, you guys got him out then uh yeah I bring my my staff out and I just touch the ground um, where the where it touches the ground. You see a, a line of white rush across the ground towards where Titus is. Um, and it strikes Titus, and he he would hear my voice reference something that only him and I would maybe have any reference to. I'm sure the other two would know of the reference, but there would would have been a day where we were training together and the quartermaster who was not Jude, this was a long time ago when we were very young, probably late teens, um, was giving us a really hard day and we had been kept back in the training yard and neither of us could stand up after being worked so hard. This was physical training with swords. I was forbidden from using any magic and the instructor told us that once you're over the hill you can only pick up speed and both of us were able to stand up and I remember watching Titus move faster than he should have been able to. And I couldn't figure out at the time whether he had used magic or I was just so tired. But some restrictions had been lift from, lifted from him. And I do that to him again. The, the restrictions being gravity and friction and drag, things like that. Sorry, be very clear. You are removing these restrictions from him? How so? What is happening? I'm removing them from him not entirely so that he just floats off I'm not trying to trap nowhere. you I'm genuinely curious as to how you're doing this don't worry um what I am doing is good old fashioned what you would call debt magic I'm taking the forces that are 
pushing down on him, gravity, the forces that are causing him to slow, like drag, the forces that might cause him to have any sort of friction as he moves his sword or, or blade through the air or his legs through the air and I'm putting them on myself until the next turn for Got it. You yep. know, X yep. amount of time. Amazing. Wonderful. Go ahead and roll. Forget, forget any sort of shift. shift. Yeah, you're 10 shift because you're in the wood. This is... I'm actually using good, legitimate, good old-fashioned debt magic. I'm using summoning. I'm not using dread. Uh, then, yeah, you can... Well, I mean, unless you are going to use lawyer that you've got, like, a connection with Titus or that you're using an old memory, which would work. I'm siphoning a memory. Yes. Yeah. And I'm using my staff to... Perfect. There we go. accurate... Yep. Using your staff, all of these things are My good. My staff is up. really a very is isn't a staff. It's a pencil. Focus. You know, it's a it's a pen. It's a needle um, all right. that I you, use you can to have, focus uh, through. Plus twenty. Okay. I need to know. Somebody else just roll something and let me know if a plus twelve works. Because so far I've been doing ten and twenty, but I'd love to know if I could do anything in between. Oh my 26. god, twenty six. Okay, Titus, you feel lighter faster your muscles are stronger you can breathe easier all of that I th- and i think with the 26 i think you're fully aware uh what has just happened that this is something that's temporary for the like this next turn and so you know if you've got a chance at doing some real damage it's this next turn so in- i then also realize that i need the staff as an actual staff so i i feel this thing as i kind of fall to one knee and i look as if I'm suddenly under a bunch of pressure. As he looks at me, I mutter under my breath, Grasshopper. And hold on to the staff. I nod in acknowledgement. Vega, you're up. Um, I've just watched Jude deliver a blow that would usually behead something, and I've seen her do this time and time again. Uh, I've seen the train, and I know that's strange. So... I take this blood orb that we gained last week, which has Titus's blood and a drop of my blood. And I would like to... I'm going to divine how much this creature is connected to this blood of Titus and how much both of those are connected to me and how similar we all are. And I want to see, like, what, what the link is between everybody here. Okay, go ahead and roll your divination. You can have a plus 20. <gasps> Double failure. 88 double failure. You were trying to see the link, right? Yeah, I was trying to uh, envision the connections between everybody. Ooh, I to see how this alien... is fun. This is a fun way to interpret the failure, I think. I think that you see something very confusing for Vega. Maybe not for Leah, but for Vega. So I'm going to describe this to you in a way in which Leah understands, and then you'll have to figure out Vega's interpretation. But I think that you see, specifically because you said, how is everyone connected? I think you see many variations and versions of these people all at once. And some of them are in clothes you don't recognize, in a world you don't recognize doing things that you might find very confusing, staring at a fucking TV or a monitor, and that is jarring, because what the hell is that? It's some sort of, you know, orb, or I don't know how Vega would interpret this, but it is, it's not them, but it also could be them somewhere, somehow, you know, it's got this feeling of kind of otherworldliness. But what I will say with this 88 failure is that when you get to you, somewhere else you turn and you look and you make eye contact with yourself for just a moment and then it's gone ooh okay I think this would stun me I am uh, completely stunned at this point uh, paralyzed trying to process everything everything is wildly connected way so much more than you ever anticipated 
I think. Yeah, in fact, I fall to one knee. I, yeah, I, I think. The, just the enormity of this seems yeah. like a lot. That's. Especially because, yeah, especially because you also know and you have heard that all of these worlds depend on you. I think that's probably also that you feel the gravity mirroring the gravity that Eru is using, but you you feel that gravity of the situation that all of these worlds that you can't even, you know, wrap your mind around really are depending on you guys. And so in that way, everything is connected to you right here in this moment. I am, I am but a statue at this point, on one knee, staring. Who's next? I believe it's Estrella. Yep. I'd like to go ahead and pull from that memory that I took. Yep, okay. Ooh. And okay. attempt to make uh, these copies of me and myself look like that figure. Okay. And this is going to be in an attempt to distract and unsettle this creature. Okay. Yes, go ahead and roll. Will yeah. illusion be fine for that? Um yeah, illusion's fine for that. Okay. <gasps> oh no! You are gonna hate what my first reaction was. How many mm -hmm. copies are there? There's three, and then there's me. Yo, I'm so sorry. It's a 100. Oh. I think you make three, three, three homunculus versions. They're like, you just summon them forward. And now you got three more to fight, so you better <laughs> do some more run. I don't know, man. I sorry. It's a 100. You did illusion. There's no way. It, like, you're trying mm -hmm. to make the creature. It just makes sense to me that you do way better than you expect. And you have not just made an illusion. You've created them. They're here now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. Oh. Um, I think that snaps Radroth yeah. out of the days that he was in as three new threats suddenly appear. Um, so he quickly slams his halberd down into the ground and reaches forward for the homunculus we currently have restrained under this um well now it's not even under a gravitational spell anymore is it it um, is it is because arrow did is? critical success so yes absolutely this one is okay. still slowed this one is not your yes. problem probably the other three that have just spawned out of copies of astraea are the issue astraea do not forget up your illusion by one right now immediately um, I want to deal with the one I've already done damage with and see if I can do it and that's so we can concentrate on everyone else. Okay. So I reach out and feeling that's this only thread of magic that I can pull on now, I want to cause the roots of the trees that are underneath the ground to reach up and grab the sword that is currently stuck in its neck and just pull it all the way through the rest of the way. Oh, okay. That's very clever. Okay, yeah. Go for it. Go ahead and roll. You get a plus 10 because Jude's already kind of set up the attack and I love multiple attacks on everything like buddy system, Final Fantasy, Chrono Trigger shit. Partial success. I think you get it partially through <clears throat> more, but it's still not all the way done. Okay. Um... Again, I pull my helper out of the ground and just ready myself. Um, still hearing that ringing, but yeah. I cannot afford to be distracted right now. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Who's up? I, me, I want to do something a little bit insane, and I think it fits because the way that I'm thinking about it, the way that Jude is thinking about it, she doesn't know really much of anything so far about the universes or their connections or anything. Um, but she's been thinking a lot recently about uh, about their connections, essentially. Um, and the space between them, she's been really thinking about, like, 
the black space between them. She imagines almost like marbles, like a bunch of marbles or something in a group almost and there's space in between and I think that she might be I think I'm thinking about the fact that I can't get through this thing's neck and we're in this woods and this forest is connected to something it's connected to the wound and there are these universes and they're connected to each other and I want to sever the link between these two things. I want to cut almost as if this thing is being held together by this black space between. I want to use that to cut through it. You were trying to sever the tie? I know that there's something in this creature. I'm imagining like bones, like a neck, Mm -hmm. right? I was trying to cut its head off. Yeah. And so instead of thinking of it as cutting its head off or separating its head from its body, I want to separate the core within it from the world's almost the same way. Okay. Go ahead and roll for me. You can have a plus 10. I actually don't know what to use here. Um... I cannot help you. Yeah, I know. Uh... Yeah, I'll go with alchemy still. Um, Because I'm thinking of it in like a physical properties way, almost. Uh... I think you can get further to decapitating it, if you'd like. Okay. Would you like to describe how you do this? Or what it looks like, rather? I'm imagining uh, its vertebrae, the connections in between its vertebrae. And I'm imagining that as my sword is trying to go through them, that vertebrae, that like blackness that I'm also imagining is the Mm -hmm. space between these universes, I guess, is dissolving. Like a mix of dust and butter. I love the idea that you are altering the property of the bone ever so slightly so that it is not as calcified so that your sword can Mm. slip through it faster like butter. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Cool. Who's up? It would be me. Yes. I can feel this lightness in my feet. Mm Mm-hmm. And I get another classic Titus wild idea. And I would like to project my sword Veracos into this homunculus using Unseen Hand. I have a feeling you're going to roll really well. So I'm going to recommend that you do not do it on the one that is already dead. Only because this summoning three of these is very big deal. And I'm worried you're going to die. Okay. I get a gut feeling that maybe the company has this one under control. Okay. And I aim for Can you can you tell me the uh Yeah, I'll have positions to I'll quickly do a map Narrator. for you. But yeah, pretty much she had uh three of them on I'm gonna assume almost like a triangle uh position diamond uh between the creatures, right? Because she was putting them in front. So you've got creature here, creature here, creature here, creature here. And then you guys along this line gotcha. here. Yeah. I'm going to aim for third base then. If we're here, then this guy up here. The one on the far left. Yeah. Whichever okay. way you want to perceive it. Okay. And I'm assuming that I don't have a minus 10 due to Eru's buff, if right. I'm correct. You have a positive due to Eru's buff. I'm going to see if I can make a map really quickly to show you guys of, where they are. In fact, I'll just do it in MS Paint real quick. Of 10? Uh, for the shift. No, 20, because he rolled a 44. He rolled a critical success. Partial success. What was the number? So, 58. Okay, what, what happens? 
think you get it in there. Originally, my plan was, half damage. was going to be to throw it in and boomerang my sword back to me and try to hit it twice in the same round, but instead I throw Veracause into the third base homunculus and it gets stuck there, potentially in the thigh of it, and the bone just kind of catches it as I try to summon it back to me. Ooh, and it okay. stays there. Okay. All right. Damn, that was so close to a success. All right, next up, who's next? I believe <clears throat> that would be the homunculus. The homunculus. Oh, fuck yeah. Did you held your turn, right, Meyer? It is still being held, yes. Okay, um... This sucks. I gotta commit, I'm so sorry. Okay, we're gonna do all three of the extra homunculus in the same turn as well, just to make everything easy, so... We're gonna have, I I need you guys to tell me who's where now. Now I need to make a map, so I'm gonna do it. But while I'm doing that, if you could look at the diamond shape and then tell me where you're standing. Um, the diamond shape. Oh, actually, I'll just use this map. Hold on. I'm so sorry. I'll put you here. You're already on it, right? Correct. Yes. Okay, yeah. perfect. All right, put your tokens to where you are right now, and I will have shrunken this homunculus here. Uh, I don't have a time. Can you shrink my character down a bit as well? Uh, yep, you can. Do you need me to do it? Yeah, I can't. Okay, there you go. Can I have a token, please? Yep, I will do it in just a second. Now, please. I can't move my token. All right. Here's what we're going to do. Teacher in a class full of children <laughs> Miss. unless Miss Berry. the three uh, copies would be sort of like that because we were doing i was like just the gonna compass. say you can totally yeah. fix it if you want but i'm pretty sure this is where you have them unless you had unless you were here where this guy is in the middle and this guy was behind but i vaguely remember you saying in front of you but you can move yeah, it no they tossed me towards him yeah so okay. I would be right next because that's the the one that everybody else is grouped in, uh, near is the one that uh, is the original, right? The yeah. one next to Vega. Okay. Yeah. Could we remove the elf from the map? Yes, we can remove the elf from the map and existence. <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. Wait, what? I'm joking. Okay. Um, uh, which one's the rich? Which one's the Titus homunculus? On I'll, I'll color them in just a second. One okay. second. Ega. <laughs> Yay. Now, does it let you move it now? Yes. Okay. It's because you're using a different sheet, motherfuck. Okay, one second. <laughs> I have like three names on here as well. <laughs> it's very confusing. No, that's okay. I meant um, I'm vague at the Brad's. Apprentice. Brad's doesn't uh -huh. have a token because he doesn't have a... Oh, uh... Uh, yes, because I'm Erifir, the apprentice, yeah. the original. <laughs> <laughs> That's my full name. I don't know what you guys are laughing about. There was no other one and only the first of his name. Sorry, I know you guys can't see this yet, so I'm working on it. I think if I can, if Razor can get away with it, I think he's every so often trying to reach for that previous magic. Um, the one he used to have, a, the ones he used to have a connection with. Like trying to call very basic, simple spells like the criminal prestidigitation or something like that. Just to see if there is any, if there's any remnants of a connection. Okay. Or if it's just entirely blocked off or cut off. Um, I'm only saying this to fill the um, empty air. Thank you, thank you. Uh, um, In fact, <laughs> actually, why it. don't you all <laughs> How many of the, yeah, why don't you all go ahead and roll to dodge at least twice? Because okay. there are three of them okay. and, you know, I have to think. They each get two attacks and if they Sorry, successfully, guys. if oh. they successfully Arufa hit you, one. they can then bite you. What? What? Arufa got a crit success. A what? A second crit success on this new ship. How? You the first have... one's a success? Yeah. Arifair, the apprentice, the original. Oh my god! 25, 29, 20. Oh my god, thank god. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. This isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. 
Oh, I'm okay. stunned. <laughs> by the Yet. Way. I oh, cannot yeah. dodge. Nary, oh, that's do I still right. Shift from Eru's buff. For yes, being you do. Rock but like. Eru right. technically shouldn't have one. But you rolled a crit one, and we're just gonna go with that here because that's fucking awesome. Brad, can, can you move this token now? <laughs> Bro. Titus. Um, Titus. Why? <laughs> By two yes. again okay, as perfect. well. Oh, doubles. <laughs> Titus needs to clear his karma. <laughs> Something's going wrong. Don't forget Whoa. to mark a thing on your, Wait, your wheel. Two doubles. You got uh, you two, two doubles on your back wheel. to back? 44. Wow, holy shit. Okay. Whoa, okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, that's confusing. <laughs> We're gonna, <laughs> hey, it all just right. means that the first attack is going to hit him really hard, and the second one, somehow he manages to get the fuck out of the way. Um, okay. Oh, we're, we're all doing two, yeah? Yes, Sorry. two mm -hmm. each. Uh, and then I will math it here in just a second. <laughs> all right, I need you guys to place your tokens where your tokens would be. Uh, Which is Titus? Place. Titus Homunculus? This one, I think. Yeah. yeah. That one? Okay. I'll be here then. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Okay. I'm so sorry. Can you say which one it is again, real quick? The one to the, the right. That one. one. Yep. Okay, so I and am then I'm right gonna see here. If I can I'm like mark standing them right here. next to it. I was not expecting this. Sorry. Is there a way I can add a token to it, Brad, that marks it a different color? How do I do that? Click it. Uh huh. And what? Advanced? Nope. In fact, you should just be able to click it once, and then there's little buttons. Alternatively, like you can just double click it and give it like a tint color, give it a different color to it or something. Yeah, there's radius. Oh, cool. Like, like this. Yeah, how do I do? How did you do that? So uh, next one. to the cog wheel, there's like a little uh, circle with a circle. Cool. Okay, the red one then is the original. Thank you. Sorry. I'm the original. Thank you. Uh huh. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and color them. Chad, I know are you these can't are see be it big? yet. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Maybe they all have like different color eyes. Nerd. Ooh. That one's not working. Okay. There it goes. Okay. Okay. All set. Who failed? I need you guys. I'm like trust falling. Those of you who failed, please go ahead and describe while I get this stuff up for the, them to be able to see it. Yeah. And then Titus will do yours and just you will do yours last. Oh, yay. Yeah. Only June um, and Titus failed. Yeah. So my first roll, I succeeded or I partially succeeded. Um, but my second roll, I have failed horrifically. Uh, and I am just so close to this creature, I think, um, I think I kind of, I don't know, get taken out. What did you roll? Um, my partial was 48, and then my failure was 93. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Holy fuck. You get um, absolutely... How do you get taken out? Does it just, like... Fuck. So I I have been I react. Banking. Oh. Yep. All right, what happened? So I see the creature swinging at Jude and uh, at this point I'm going to try and uh, utilize the lessons that have been taught to me this morning by the apprentices. Um the log that I am next to isn't just any ordinary log, but one that I had scouted out earlier during initiative. I believe I uh, succeeded quite well in that, maybe with doubles, in fact. Um, and there's reason for it. As the creature swings to deal what would be a decisive blow to Jude, I am going to replace Jude with the log so that the creature swings at the log and shatters it, and Jude is here by me. Okay, you now roll, correct? Yes? 
This Correct. is what we've established, but you have your bonuses for mm-hmm. holding and leveling up, kind of. Yep, go go ahead. Right. Correct. So what would the shift be? Plus 10 because it's stewed. Yep. Plus 20 for the first hold. Yep. Plus 10 for the other hold. I think if we're allowing the holds to stack, then it should only be mm. plus 10 each hold. Plus 10 yep. is okay. So it would All be right. a total of, and I put that in the in the chat just so you don't think I'm making it up right now. Right. No, I um, saw it. But it is, so then it would be 10 for Jude and then 10, 10, so 30 total, right? Because you held for two rounds? Three, I think. Is this not the third? Maybe not. This is the third round I've held it for, yeah. But sh- you didn't manage to get through the whole round holding it, right? See. Right? Yeah. All right. Yes. So it'd be plus okay. 30. All right. Whoa. Let's fucking Success, go. 55 doubles. I was banking on a crit success. What happens? I don't know if this would be all too anticlimactic, but I was hoping to get us all out of here. How? Well, the tree in front of me, the mass of which was just about the same mass as Jude, if not a bit bigger, therefore only parts of it were replaced with this creature. Throughout this wood where we have been at, there have been felled trees in a similar situation, similar fashion. You know, this tree is alive, but at the same time, with life comes death, and there's bits of dead wood, dead debris. I haven't been falling trees, obviously, because the tree, the wood itself is magical. It's sentient, it recognizes things like that, but I was banking on utilizing everything that has been taught taught to me, the fact that I'm able to to displace people within time and space from Erephir's fort, etc. And uh, essentially just trying to do a group teleportation. That has been my goal this entire time. Whether or not I'm successful in it is an entire matter entirely. Obviously a crit is just a crit. But um, if at all I would like to save Jude, and possibly Titus, because I know he's being hit next. However, and I understand it's a lot asking for a 55 success, but uh, I was hoping to get us out of here because the odds are not in our favor right now. Out of here, how? Can you expand on that? Okay. Just out of this particular spot or out of the woods or just so I know where you're going. Okay. I would like to get as far out of the woods as possible. I'm relying just on memory, so probably where we were, maybe the... Maybe perhaps the clearing where we found Jude. Okay. That's not as far out of the wood as possible, but okay, I hear you. Um, I will allow you to teleport because it is a partial success. However, you are going to teleport... How many of you are there? There are one, two, three, four, um, five, seven of us. You will teleport four only. Okay. And you might also teleport one of the baddies. So everybody's going to roll. We're going to roll to see who you teleport. So everybody number yourselves. One through seven. Five. Let's go with the turn order. Oh, okay. Sure, that works. And then we're also going to add 8, 9, 10, and 11 for the monsters. And you will roll a 1d11 four times until we figure out who you take. Okay. We can do the turn order. That's easiest. It's right there for us. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay. Is Lyra a number? Uh, Yes. Yes. Lyra 1, Eru 2, Vega 3, Estrella 4. Razroth 5, uh, Jude 6, Titus 7, then the, hunky, the, the homunculi are everything after, I imagine. Yep. There'll be 8, so, 9, 10, and 11, and I'm going okay. uh, red, blue, green, yellow. All right. So uh, R, G, B, Y. Okay. Okay. So 1d11. Yep. All right.
right. One of the homunculi are out of here. Okay. Oh, dear God. That's uh, homunculi green That's... is now out. Green is out. Okay. I can't look, man. All right. Dude. 11. Dude, homunculi you... yellow what is now. What if you just get rid of what all the homunculi? What if you just all the homunculi? <laughs> Bro. It's gonna Bro. be me. I'm telling you. <laughs> wait, wait. It's gonna Mama. be tight. It's gonna be Can me. I I'm seven. This? Can I lawyer this? What? How? <laughs> okay. He got a 55, which is only a partial success. Mm -hmm. He intended to port all of us, but yep. instead he only ports the homunculi. He wanted to port us, but he misses. I think I'm doubles. sticking. It's not strong enough. I think I'm yeah. sticking. Okay, 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 yeah. okay. <laughs> Sorry. I am oh. gone. <laughs> <laughs> I figured as much. <laughs> Who's the last one? All right. 1D11. Please don't be the third monkey. Oh, 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 the two people oh, hate oh, each other. Oh, <laughs> okay. okay. What is um, it's not chance. It is fate. I'm dude, telling that, you. That <laughs> is like two. the two of them Haunted. as well. What the fuck? Oh my god. You couldn't write it better, man. <laughs> oh my god. And we have no flare. idea where they've gone, by the way, the rest of us. We yeah. have no clue. Yeah. They just vanished. Okay, so and yeah. And I still take the hit. <laughs> no, you do not. Yeah, you do. You no, don't? you do oh, not. Really? It's, a par it's a partial oh, okay. success. I won't take that from him. Absolutely not. Oh, okay, but, okay, okay. Um, but it is a... Uh, uh, the teleportation, I think, is probably as crazy as we're going to get there. Okay, so hold on. Uh, yellow and green are gone. Eru and Lear are gone. Now, on the map that we are on right now, you should see group one, correct? Yes. Okay, and then group two is on the other map, which I will switch to here in a moment. But I think... Whose turn was it? It was my turn. Who's next up on the turn yeah. order? It was Lear. Lear. It was Lear's Lear. turn. Okay, and then Arrow. So we're actually going to go to team two here. Oh, but Titus it's, failed I mean, also. I, uh, yeah, I didn't move. Oh. Titus also failed, and the homunculi didn't actually have a turn. Oh, because <laughs> they were hitting you. But no, so here's the beauty of it. He interrupted that. He used his reactionary oh. turn to interrupt the homunculi's attack. So he has ported them, so any attack that was going to happen after did not happen. Okay. Right? Okay. So if you were okay. hit by... Just take off one of your attacks. That's the easiest way for me to do it, because I was trying to get the map ready and everything ready. So your second attack, just take it off. It didn't happen. All right. And I grabbed the wrong person. Hold on. All right, we are here. Where is here? Um, outside of the old wood, in the clearing where you found Jude. But two homunculi are with you. I am astonished at what he has done. Uh, it's not quite what I was going for. You fool. Does the crown weigh so heavily on your head that it cuts the oxygen? Not now, apprentice. I dropped the spell on Titus. Is it my turn or his? It's your turn. He just went. <sighs> well, go on, do something! Um, okay. Fine. I'll do something. Why does that sound so I, threatening? Um, <laughs> the, uh, so the two in front of me are made of Astraea and not Titus? No, they're Titus. So basically what she, and I think you would know this, yeah. She used illusion magic, but she used it too well that they're no longer illusory. They, she, she's just created them. She's pulled them from somewhere, but they are copies of this homunculi. So they are Titus in blood. 
but perhaps Estrella no. in mind. Uh, as a question, mm-hmm. um, maybe this should wait until my turn, but the ones that were teleported, the one that was the original summon, that was, uh, do I remember which color that was? Or that would was I red. have lost sight of that? Yeah, that, that was, was red. red. Yep. So okay. these two are unfortunately brand spanking new copies undamaged. Gotcha. Um, hmm. Can I roll the dice real quick? Yes. Always. Okay. Uh, it's okay. What's it, it for? It was a 44. 44. Whoa, what for? What was that for? Containing my rage. Oh. I failed. Oh, boy. Um. Ooh. What does that the mean? First, well, this now becomes, uh, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I would like to draw on my own fear and rage uh-huh. within this forest. Now I have two distinct fears that run alongside each other. One is being imposed upon me by the dread magic of the forest where the trees feel very tall around me. Yes. The second is now a fear for whether the others are... Did we leave them behind or did he send them somewhere else? I don't really know yet. I'm not going to try and figure it out. But... um, And then I have just rage at that at this situation. Um, I would like to take it from myself and give it to both homunculi. The rage? The fear and the rage. Okay. Go ahead and roll for it. Do I have any shift on this? Uh, yeah. Uh. I'm using my stuff, but I'm not being accurate. do you get angry, Eru? How often does this actually happen to you? I'm just trying to wonder how much control you have. Um. I don't think this happens very often. But I do. Yeah, he doesn't lose control and become furious like this very often okay I would like to give you a 20 shift because I feel like emotions help fuel and make magic much stronger Um, but I'm just going to trust that if you do a crazy critical success it just add an explosive element to it like add something to it that would equal how crazy this is that you are you know losing this um that you're going off the handle here, sort of, in a way, you know? Yeah. Make the result match oh. the thing. Yep, go for it. Say, success. All right, what happens? Um, The first thing that happens is I, while still thinking about how much of a fool Lear has been, I draw the um, staff in front of me. Um, there's like a maybe a pulse of energy that pulls from uh, from Iru's chest and runs down his arm and into the staff. Um, there's a moment where uh, only Eru is affected by this, but his cloak and clothing and hair buffers and, and billows behind him as if he's been hit by a huge amount of wind and energy. And then the staff kind of expands with light and the two homunculi are hit by that light and you see that same energy that ran down his arm uh, course through them and then rest in their eyes and well the rage rests in their eyes as a flame and the fear rests in their chest as a an anxiety I immediately calm down Yep. 
I'm I would complete like complete composure. Yep. I was just about to ask, okay. would you like to take a turn or would you like to stay reactionary? Because I think technically you're sp it's top of the round. Right. So, you could so go I would again like to react yep. okay. with this. Yep. Um, it depends on how much I have gleaned from what's just happened right now. I think he, but... I think there's no hiding it from him. Like, I don't think he hid it because he, you know, he just lost okay. control of his emotion there for a minute. I would like to, in this moment, then minimize us. If these creatures are now enraged and fearful, if we almost diminish ourselves from this playing field, my hope is that maybe perhaps they can attack each other. Okay. Go ahead and roll. Okay. That's not what I'm putting down. All right. Uh, you no longer this... have that plus 10 for the wood, by the way, because you're not in it anymore. Okay. okay. In this moment, then, what would that be? It's definitely not divination. And it's definitely not uh, my usual... You can actually use your usual magic. And I can All explain right. why after if you want. But you can In use which it. case, I will. No shift, I imagine. No shift. 69. Partial success. Shall we do... One of you is not a target because it's um, a partial success and you were trying to kind of stealth the two of you. Yes, the idea was to make us less of an, a target, so maybe perhaps Only they would one attack themselves. Yes. I don't know how much Titus hates himself. All right. In that case, uh, not just I will him, be shielding... In this moment, I imagine I'll be shielding Irafir. Really? Oh, I love that. Oh, you I hate don't. him so much, and you're gonna shield I do. him. <sighs> I do. Am I, am I even slightly end. aware of this? Yeah, absolutely. I don't think what there's any What are you shielding me with? What am I shielding you with? So, I am... It's an interesting one, this. I'm not shielding you, per se but their perception of you has been lessened due to the fact that I have essentially, within the space around you, made you less perceptible um, by moving particles of light around, um, sh sifting through the, through the, uh, the, the forest canopy. Uh, you just kind of seem to have this almost like a... I mean, I don't know how good a sense of smell they have, but as far as light is concerned, you are kind of akin to spots on the forest floor that where, like, light has shone through the holes in the leaves um, as a barrier has been erected in front of you. Can I speak to him? As soon as, as, soon as yes. I see him doing this, yeah. I say, save yourself. I need not your it's, help. It's too late for that. Save me next. And we're gonna switch! <laughs> Other group! We got, all right, Mergs, where are you? Boom, I think. Here we go. Ugh. Wow, this is crazy. <laughs> Me having to do this live, but I love it. I love every second of it. Okay, whose turn is it? I think it's Vega, mine. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, I uh, shake myself out of this stunned state I'm in, uh, seeing a bunch of people disappear, especially Leah, who I'm supposed to be sworn protector to. Um, and in my mind, seeing these homunculuses form, um, two of them were illusions from my own creation. Yep. And therefore, I would like to make the illusions cease. Okay. Uh, they are not illusions anymore. She has made them real uh, formed. But yes, mm -hmm. you can try to Try to do this anyway. Your role will have to be really good, but you're basically yeah. just like taking away their existence. Your god mode. Yep. Okay. As long as we're clear, go for it. Yep. Um, uh, and call out which would, one. It would be much easier for you to only do one at a time. I'll tell you that as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like you'd have to I'll get twenty or right, below for right one. Screen. What? We're not looking at the right. Oh right, right. I, sorry, 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 right. sorry. Yeah, I'm doing the overlay. So <laughs> you guys are in the right spot. Okay. Um, I would like to argue a uh, 10 on top of my 10 shift because I believe fully that this is my illusion. That's how it's done. Yes, go ahead. <laughs> it's 47 success. 
Ah, okay. Um, so uh, I said under a 20 for just one. So I feel mm -hmm. like you can shrink it or do something that is like a... It's still a success, but it's not what so you needed to completely remove him from the existence. Because he also now has a mind and a soul and believes that he exists. So you're fighting against it. And these look identical to the Titus homunculus, so they are. Yes, the, yeah. Yes, and then so they're no all, longer astray. Also, in the future, and I just want to tell you this because I don't know if we'll be able to figure it out as the game progresses. In the future, having them close their eyes and not look at a creature will help because you're fighting your belief, but you're also fighting the belief of everybody in the room that can see this creature in front of them, right? You mm -hmm. have to fight their perception too. So doing little things like everybody close your eyes or turn around, I'm going to get rid of one. Just them believing that you're going to do it is helpful. Okay. That's okay. Good to know. Yep. Um, in which case, uh, as I created these illusions to be as threatening as possible, in my mind, when I'm taking away this illusion, I'm removing the threat. So I'd like to okay. shrink this homunculus slightly, but I'm removing the parts of it that are threatening to everybody, claws, teeth, anything that will be creating a lot of damage right now. Okay, so pick which homunculus you were doing this to. Um, blue, I'd say, because that one looks yep. the freshest. Yep, okay. Yeah. Yep. So then claws and teeth have been removed from this uh, homunculus. Who is next? I'm sorry, I really wanted that to work, but you've got them plus four other people staring at it. So the roll had to be like 20 or lower to shit. Okay. All right. <clears throat> um, It's me? Yes. But I think I'm going to hold it for now. I want to see what everyone else does. Okay. Who's next? Me. Raz, what do you do? Um, throughout the journey, um, I've there are still a lot of holes and points of ignorance and lack of knowledge when it comes to what exactly is going on. But the one thing that I'm certain of is that the people who took Titus and created the uh, previous homunculus that I've had to fight. They're connected. They're the same people, most likely, but at the very least work for the same people. Yes. And I think it's safe to assume that these homunculi are the same, that they're yes, connected. created and connected to the same people. When we went to save Titus, I took control of that domain. Raz, Raz, what are you doing? Go on. Um, I have several ideas, but I'm gonna try this one. You might remember that one of the points where I was watching Titus, I was just an observer with the person, the entity that I won't name. And I switched places with my, um, God, I can't remember the name of the creatures now. Um, I want to basically, I want to switch. I want to bring my, um, what's the name of the bird creatures that we've been riding? <laughs> Dalamir. <laughs> Dalamir. 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 Yeah. I want to bring my Dalamir. I want to switch its place with one of these homunculi and send it to that space, that realm. Okay. Whether or not it's alive or dead, I'm fully aware of what its fate is likely is, but okay. the fact that it's still there. Okay. Um, I feel the need to tell you if you're sending it to that realm where your Dalamir is, time is fucky there, and you may send yes. it to a strapped up Titus I, who cannot defend space, himself. I, in that space, I couldn't... I was a watch. I wasn't even in that space. I was watching that space from mm -hmm. what I understood anyway. Mm -hmm. So... I guess I suppose my question would be then in this regard case, when I was there ri originally, not when we say Titus, when I was just kind of just watching, watching, uh -huh. was that the same space as Titus or was I just looking it, in it to the space of Titus? It was a similar liminal space. Basically, okay. if you send this creature to that space, this creature is made of Titus. He can cross and yeah, reach him. Yeah, he can him. cross him. Yeah. Okay. Um, if you want to send it to the Observer, your dear friend, the Observer, that might be fun to try. Again, no, your roll would actually, have to be pretty fucking good. I want to good. do something else. Yeah, okay. 
still slightly related to this, the rescuing of Titus, I took over okay. that domain and just the, the observer seemed scared of me. Yes. I rolled a crit success. Yes. I want to remember that fear that it had. I want to instill it into these things, these homunculi, so when they see me, they fear me and run. Okay. Go ahead and roll. I want them to fear the Sun Eater. Um... I think I'm going to go with illusion. Um, no, you can't. You cannot, my son. You can only use the one magic. Okay, so what would my what a roll for that? Roll your your whatever your. Hold on, I'll pull your sheet open. Yeah. Oh, I shall do it for you. Oh, okay. This one, everything else is locked. Do you see what I have done? The very last one on the bottom? Yes. Yep. Okay. okay. Everything else is stuck. Oh boy. Okay. Um, do I get any shifts? Remembering this fear. Do you? I could give it to you, but I don't want to. Yes. Um, Why? I remember the state that Titus was in, and the homunculus I originally fought. And I knew, I know, for a fact that they must have tortured him yeah. to p create anything like that from him. So I'm think I'm telling the anger that's been engulfing me, and I've been trying to keep under control. I'm gonna use that and summon that to power this. To force this dread magic to Go bend ahead to my and will. Oh. Oh. 97. Okay. I think you get a familiar sensation, the feeling that you got when the observer was near you and nearby. But you don't see anything, you don't hear anything, you just feel that strange oppressive presence as if maybe you have said, hey, or like phoned, <laughs> phoned him and he is now aware of where you are, potentially. Okay. Yeah. I Who's... just grit my teeth in frustration yeah. and brace myself. Who's next? That would be me. Um, I am a bit uh, overwhelmed at the fact, uh, overwhelmed. I'm horrified at the fact that Lear is gone. Um, do I know that that was his own choice? that he was the one who did that. He, like, moved me out of the way, right? Here? Yeah. Would she know? Uh, yes, of course. Yep, of course you do. Okay. Okay. I would um, like to say that, like, um, she was still, you know, moved from the attack initially. Yeah, she was. It I was did. to save yep. her life. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And it was. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Um, but I'm very concerned about the fact that he's now gone. Um... My sword is still embedded in this thing's neck, right? Yep. Um, I think I'm filled with uh, a similar feeling. And the feeling is uh, the feeling kind of that I had when we were first escaping the castle and didn't know anything that was going on. Yeah. Um, I think I'm suddenly feeling a bit uh, unsure about how to move forward, but just merely knowing that I have to. Um, I haven't cut this thing's head off. Like, I have been trying for so long to cut this thing's head off. Um, 
and I think I I think at this point I I might feel like I just can't do it. So I'm gonna wrench my sword from its neck, okay. uh, like put my uh, put my foot uh, on its shoulder and just kind of like pull my sword out of it. Okay. Um, and are you wrenching it from, or are you trying to pull it through? I think I'll uh, I'll pull it yep. through out. I'm not trying to go down anymore. Yep. Okay. Um, You're just trying to get it out. All right, got it. Just trying to get it out. Uh, it, do I do that, or is it like stuck in there? Got to roll for it. Okay. Cool. Uh, anything in your body or physical that would allow you to do yeah. it? Yeah. Yep. Twenty-one success. Okay. You yank it out of there. Cool. Okay. Um. Can I can I uh, suggest that as I'm doing that I like kick it over? <laughs> like just, I'm just like pulling. I have like my, my foot up on its shoulder and I pull the. It doesn't do any damage, but it, maybe it's on the ground now in a more. Um, you can roll to do this. However, I think you should have a minus ten shift because you were focused on getting the. Um, You're right. The, You're the right. sword out. If you if you call something like that in the future, I'll let you do it. But it's a targeted attack and it's harder to do. But you've already succeeded. Oh, I just meant like, so. I just meant like the the uh, force necessary to, for me to like pull out the sword if mm -hmm. it like fell over or something. Yeah, it but makes I'm total not, sense. Uh, I'm not but I would it. just call yeah, yeah. it next time okay, so cool, that cool, I cool. can know because technically he wouldn't be able to take his turn next turn if you do something right. like that, right? Then I just like won't I won't do that because uh, okay. it's just not on. I think not you still my, kick uh, him, purview. but he's not going to okay. fall over. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Next uh, up. And then I, I'm actually going to back off. Yeah. Go ahead and it move your me. token so I can see. Go ahead. I'm going to cast Goliath's Web onto the reduced homunculus that yeah. they okay. attacked. Smart. And Sorry. then as I'm getting ready to cast it, I'm going to make eye contact with Rhea and kind of nod. Oh, interesting. Okay. 17, what happens? For a moment, it looks like I'm going to vomit. And my chest begins to expand, <clears throat> bubbling a little bit. And my mouth becomes exponentially larger than it normally is. Kind of like a, a squirrel when it's storing nuts in its cheeks. And I went out of... <laughs> and a giant web ball shoots out and as it's in the air I would like to cast a more traditional spell on top of it and hit it with a fireball as this thing's launching at it I'd like to react I look at Titus and my eyes kind of soften for a moment and I pull from all of that anger that I have towards him I pull from all of that frustration that I fucked up this badly with these duplicates. And I pull from my sadness that all of the people I love continue to hold things so close to their chests that they don't include me. And I begin to spin my blades and I move my body along with them to create momentum. And with one fierce, angry, chaotic movement, a movement, I aim my swords towards the homunculi. <laughs> and the gems glow. I'm trying to summon forth a whirlwind in order to combine with that fireball. Would I be able to use my illusion for this? And is there any shift? Ninety-four. What happens? I think it goes out of control. Yeah. This is like the gardens. Yeah. All over again. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Okay, yep. Why don't you describe what happens? Instead of combining with that fire, the wind picks up all around us. 
and like a bunch of razor blades indiscriminately it just starts to attack anything and anyone and I think I'm definitely hit by it everybody roll dodge of course you're hit of course you're hit Would I be able to take that dodge of mine and possibly use it to protect Raz since he's so close from me? I will. You can if it means you in both take it. half. Yes. Yep. Okay. Got it. In that case, I need to know who got out of the way. What do we see when you get out of the way? Those people first. Um, I think I, uh, see that this wind is picking up, and I, I just, uh, sort of run, I just run out of the, out of the space, I run away from it. Okay. Um, yeah. And the rest of you get hit. Raz takes half damage. As Estrella gets into the way, what does that look like, Estrella? I think I can sense this energy, almost. It's like a smell for me. And I smell this air coming towards Raz, and it's angry. And I force myself in front of it. And it slices my arm. Okay. It probably catches me across the chest, the rest of, this, rest of the blade of air. Vega, 79, what happens? I am on the edge over here, uh, not directly close, but um, I, uh, I imagine in this rage, there's uh, the leaves from all the trees, branches are spinning everywhere. They yeah. are, um, it's like a hurricane being on the outside, oh, sorry, being on the outside of like a tornado or something. Um, I think I'm actually pushed backwards. I believe that this is an entire wall of, of wind and debris all around this homunculus, and I am uh, thrown backwards into a rock where I crack my head. And um, I am most likely unconscious right now. Vega falls to the ground unconscious. Titus. 55, Question failure Question for you, narrator. Yes. Would it still be a failure if I needed to roll a 55, and I need a 55, because that's what I got? Uh, it should do it for you. You needed a 30 to be, dodge. Uh, no, but a 55 is to, uh, 30 to succeed. 30 to 55 to partially succeed. succeed yeah, and, and he, then 55 is failure doubles. Okay. Unfortunately. Yeah, because so you have... So make or break rules. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My bad. My bad. Sorry. <sighs> Stings. All right. Um... This is from her, though. You should be grateful that this is not from the homunculus. This is from Estrella that you fail. So I think you will actually get burned, but I think you're gonna feel like you were burned long after the burns have been healed because of her anger towards you. You're feeling a physical manifestation of her anger. How lovely. Yeah. So what do we see? Through all the dried blood that's coagulated on my face, I think you see a dozen small cuts just being ripped open back and forth, back and forth. And then one long cut along my chest, severing the seal that I put there. And I fall to my knees. I'm sorry.
Hello, hello, hello. Uh -huh. uh -huh. <sighs> How we doing? Dead? Good. Dead. <laughs> Next question. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, I mean, like, I seem like HP wise, Reds are probably pretty good mentally. I don't know. Yeah, this is a, a bit crazy. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to lie awake tonight being like, did I have to do that? Uh, no. Yes. But also, <laughs> yes, did. I feel like I did. So. Yeah, you did. It yeah. was perfect. It was pretty cool. Um, and I hope you'll, you'll probably survive. <laughs> uh, okay. Who's first? Who's first in the shout out? There is an order that was predetermined by King Lear. All right. Hi, my name is Meyer, and I just played uh, Lear of In Blakeguard today. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm happy that I'm not what's, you know, over there with all the, the chaos and destruction. Right now, uh, you know, uh, Erefir and I are kind of <laughs> sitting pretty, not knowing what's happened. But, uh, but hey, I mean, uh, yeah. Uh, not quite what I expected with that spell, honestly, but... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was I awesome love it. for the narrative, but... It was, yeah. it was. I love it. Oh, yeah. man. Uh, I look forward to seeing how, like, uh, Erefir and uh, Lear... How Erefir and Lear, like, uh, I guess, deal with what situation they're in. Uh, but also, of course, Lear's abandoned Jude and Vega, so that's another thing to think about as well. Um, even if it wasn't necessarily of his it own volition. on purpose, yeah. Right. But I don't know if he. So we gotta you know, find it's... them again, and then how do we? That's even easy. Them? Yeah. And also, yeah, have we, got we the blood. even We're fine. found the real Titus? Like, I still don't mm. know if this is even the real yeah. one. Yeah. 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 Me neither. Because I still <laughs> had an idea. Like, there was yes, another look for the mole on his left butt cheek. That... <laughs> <laughs> Nightmare. But what an episode, man! I'm looking forward to seeing next week and seeing how how we resolve this because it needs to be resolved. And uh, wow. Um, but yeah, you can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Maya where I do gaming news. We uh, look at what's happening with the news today, gaming wise, and then we talk about playing Star Citizen, but we don't, and then we maybe play other games instead. Uh, you can also find me on Twitter at twitter.com slash Maya underscore test. And that's me. Next on the list was Erafir. Oh, yes. What are the odds, man? I, um, you know, when that happened, I, uh, I was like, actually, was okay, any doubt has left my mind because this is perfect. <laughs> two of them being stuck together. Mwah. I know, yeah, it's like right, right. I narrative. But imagine if delicious. I sent them all away. Yeah. That would have been awesome. Yeah, <laughs> if you just sent I think if it had been forest. like a critical success, sure. Mm. But because it, and that was your intent, right? Your intent was to rescue yourself. Right. So because it's only a partial, ah. Uh, it made sense. No, but imagine if, like, with everything set in front of me, I mean, I'd send, I sent two homunculi away before it was me and, uh, yeah, and, uh, that would have been so it crazy. Was, wow, it was, it was a great, uh, great moment. Like, you couldn't write that, but yeah, sorry, I'm taking your, uh, taking your, your spot. How dare you interrupting other people's <laughs> things? My job, um, yeah, no, that was awesome. I really enjoyed it. Uh, Arif, I didn't, but, uh, I did. <laughs> so that's a fun one I guess we'll figure out what happens next time um, uh, yeah I don't know man uh, you can follow my channel on Twitch uh, it's twitch.tv forward slash Maya I do sort of mostly gaming news uh, pretty much like Star Citizen things um, and I'm not really into sci-fi <clears throat> that's it and that was a lie <laughs> next up <laughs> Vega. Hey, hey. Hello. Dead. I'm dead. Dead. Grievous head injury. Dead. Gonna forget the last three years of magic practice. So I'm gonna be useless. Mm -hmm. Can you oh, actually wait. roll for me, um, Vega, real quick? No. Just no. anything like divination. <laughs> you just manifested this for yourself in the No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I, I will forget. So if I make her roll, she'll be like, "What the heck was that?" Next week, and then I'll be like, "Oh yeah." yeah. Um. You know, what? I'll do divination since yes, you said please. divination. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. No one's going to know what it was. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. Um, yeah. Hi. I am um, uh, going to be streaming some RP, I think, later. We'll see. But um, hello. I've been playing Vega. I am Leah. Uh, not Leah. Leah. I'm Leah. The original of the name. Like this fake 
down here. The original. <laughs> <laughs> the original. <laughs> Leia, the original. Um, but uh, yeah, I had a bunch of fun today, even if we die. It's been such a freaking awesome story. I don't care. <laughs> it's been sick. Um, I love just watching it play out. Um, and also, Merkel said something earlier in the chat, which was she doesn't. What, what did you say about the roles? I was like, yes. Yeah, it's I agree. Oh, she said that it's I fate decided now. to perceive yep. them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's not luck, it's it's fate, it's destiny. All these roles are destined. Um, but yeah, I think you just, 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 I really appreciate you all. Okay, it's Australia. Goodbye. <laughs> Hello, it's me, the real Vega. Uh, <laughs> the original. Um, um, hi, I'm feeling I played Astraea today. Uh, I messed up all the things. Sorry, guys. I don't think you did, uh, and I actually think narratively it's beautiful that this thing you've been trying to contain, when you try to use it, 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 it goes out of control because you haven't yeah. been addressing it. You haven't been dealing with it. You've been locking it up. So, of Bobbing course, it's going to wildfire. Yeah. 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 Makes sense. Yeah. Um, it's beautiful. But uh, I stream all the stuff. I do voices for video games. Um, I'm playing through Harvest Stella right now, which is really neat. Um, Danganronpa 2, which is also really neat. Um, yeah, I think I think that's it. Someone else, please take the microphone yes, for me. Yes, I will take the mic. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I am Drac or Draconix. You can find me on Twitter at Draconix and Tumblr and, I don't know, Mastodon. And I don't know, I'll probably make like a MySpace or something. Um, FY. I stream all over the place. <laughs> yeah, follow me on Death Watch. Um, probably turn off your notifications because it'll be real annoying if you do if you keep them on. Um, <laughs> um, oh boy, no one knows what's going on. If everyone finds out. They'll be worried. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I stream um, everywhere. You can find me on Ex Exquisite Courts Presents on Mondays at um, 8.30, 8.30 Eastern. I'm um, in a campaign called Divin Divine Intervention where I play Cronus, the God of Time. On Tuesdays, I'm here. Hi, hello. Um, on Saturdays at 3pm Eastern over on Vanna's channel, that's V-A-N-A. -A. I'm in a campaign called Higher Education, which is a strict haven campaign for graduates, I don't know, trying to become gods and also finish our thesis on time. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think out everyone who's messed up, I feel like Radroff might have messed up the most. Uh, lost access to most sources of magic and now has the entity watching them. We're just, do we're just doing great. Up. You and yeah, me, Drag, we're doing yeah. awesome. Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> I think, honestly, Team Bringard, not doing so hot. <laughs> we're not. We'll get them in the next round. Not doing round. great. We'll get them in the next round. Don't worry. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's me. Dude, that's All me. Right. And I'm yep. left. I'm left. <laughs> that's me. Um... Yeah, today was absolutely insane. I literally can't believe uh, all of the things that happened. I was losing my mind multiple times, as per usual. Um, I played for Jude for you today, and I love the show, and the show's the best, and I love everything about it, and... Yeah. That's it. I don't really, uh, I stream on my channel, so if you want to come by, you can, but I've been working a lot, so I haven't really been streaming. That's the end. Cool story. Miranda, <laughs> bye. Thanks. <laughs> God. I think it's me. <laughs> yeah, it's you. Um, I'm Johnny Blams. I just want to say that, um, Faye, I love you, but I'm so glad it wasn't me today that had, like, the radical ideas, Titus, and it finally got to be you, because I feel like I always have these, like, schemes in my head. I'm like, yeah, this is going to go great. And then it goes awfully. And <laughs> I'm just glad it wasn't me today. Um, if you want to see things that I do involving role play, you can follow me on my channel. Um, I already looked at my notes, so I don't need to read them again. Kind of just reiterating what everybody else said. Um, it's absolutely crazy if you look at our turn order and then the fact that it's Arufir and Lear that get teleported away. Like, it's wild. Like what Mergle said about fate, 100% true. Um, Vega's super badass. All these characters are super badass, and I love them. Um, really big shout out to Table Story because uh, they just put out awesome shows. Like, I'm currently watching Gone right now, and I bet there's so many other shows that I can't wait to dive into. So, big shout out to them for uh, just making awesome content dive for us to enjoy. Into. So, what we are, so into. Yes. Uh, dive yes. into. 
And if I miss one more anime moment, like Brad gave me the, the effing moment to become Rock Lee, and I just fail, moment. I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose my mind if I miss one more anime moment. Like Brad's like, here's your Rock Lee moment. I was like, let me just burn a whole turn. And to give you I was a so mad. I downloaded You're sound awesome effects mad. for and everything. I, I, was, I was furious. I was like, I have sword hits. I have all this shit. No. Just had you to miss can my go enemy. Faster than Sonic, and he was like, oh, "Stand still." <laughs> <laughs> how many Anyways, doubles did you me, get, yeah. Johnny? Like, yeah, it was a uh, lot. three this session. Up. Yeah, geez. How many how do you have total you know? on your your wheel? I, I got two more bangers to fill in, and then cool, we get a level get up a point. Level point. All right. Yeah, cool. I'm also just gonna assume any time that I that Titus can get hit, he's going to. I think that'll make the show a lot like less heartbreaking for me. <laughs> like anytime something can go wrong, I'm just gonna be like, it's gonna be me. It Maybe be. he should stop believing he deserves it, and then you'll get a shift for it or something. You know? Wait, me or Titus? Titus. <laughs> Anyways, that's me. Um, <laughs> PB, it's you. Yeah, it's me, but that's it. And we're a little <laughs> bit over, so I'm going to take us out. Thank you so much for watching. It really means the world. And we'll see you next week. Rate and review the podcast on Apple slash iTunes. And we'll see you next Tuesday. Bye. 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 Return.